A few months ago, a good friend of mine told me an incredible story about how her cousin had overcome the tragedy of losing her unborn son by turning pain into relief for hundreds of other grieving parents. I wanted to share the story of her organization, Peyton's Purpose. So please welcome my good friend, Seven Streeter, and her cousin, Artisha Spencer. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Seven, what inspired you to share your cousin's story? Well, honestly, she's just probably one of the strongest people that I have ever met in my entire life. Um, you know, she was, her and her husband, they've been trying to have a child for about seven years. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, God had different plans and he needed an extra angel. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Peyton is now in heaven. So many women go through what she's gone through, but not everyone is able to turn it around yeah. the way that her and her husband were able to do it. Wow. Yeah. Artesia, what happened to Peyton? Um, it, his death certificate says a cord accident, so his cord was twisted. And I didn't know it was happening until I didn't feel his movement that morning at, at work. How far along were you? I was you? seven months. Oh, my God. Gosh. I'm seven so months. sorry. Thank you. When you decided to start Peyton's Purpose, like, what is, like, your mission with it? The mission is to raise awareness because um, while in the hospital for four days, we got the best care that they could possibly give. But once I was discharged, the care ceased. Mm -hmm. There was no follow-up. Yeah, there was no follow-up, there was no aftercare. They didn't call and say, how, how are you guys doing? Are you guys coping? Nothing. And so um, I felt abandoned. I felt yes. dropped. I felt um, just left out in the cold. They wheeled me out to my husband's car and just, they left us there and that was it. Are you serious? That was it. So you muster up all that you, your emotion, you, you heal from this, and then now you're putting what you believe women like this need in a care package. So what goes in the care package? Well, what goes in there is a book about grief. It's called Always Within by Melissa Elsman. Okay. Uh, I put a, a bathrobe, body wash, lotion. Sometimes I put a candle, shampoo, and conditioner, yeah. a daily devotional, a journal, a pen, some wow. chocolate. It's the same thing a coworker got for me. So I felt it helped me so much. I said, I got to give back. I got to do something to shift this pain because I, it, I, it left me in a dark place. So I had to do something because it helped me so much. So I had to help someone else too. So. Wow. Wow. Has Peyton's purpose helped you? Well, it has helped my healing so much. Um, it's been a year and five months, but I've grown as far as my healing process because you go through all the stages of grief, mm -hmm. but just helping these women. So in six months, we've sent out 350 packages all wow. over the world. Wow. 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 Artesia, so um, how do you select how do you choose to give the packages? Well, I have a website. So the website, they go in there and they request the, the care package. It doesn't matter if the woman was five weeks or 40 weeks. A, a loss is a loss. Mm -hmm. So I have a website and also we have a Facebook page and an Instagram. So they submit the request on there and I just ship it out. All right. Wow. Oh. I just have to say, I think that what you're doing is so important. Thank you. And you are both such beautiful women for standing up and doing this. And if you ever need any help spreading the world, I'll be here for you to do so. Yes. Yeah, so because good. I want to make sure that Peyton's purpose is out there for every woman who goes through this, every man who goes through this. Well, after Seven told us about everything that you're doing, we wanted to help. But we're not the only ones. We reached out to some friends and they really came through. So, where are the bags? <laughs> <laughs> Publishing, a publisher of impactful works that make a difference, are giving you 200 oh copies God. of <laughs> Always Within. Oh yes. God. And Dollar Days, a premier online wholesale distributor, was excited to be able to give you 200 writing journals oh and pens with styluses. Oh. So. And the great folks at Marich Chocolates, a California-based fair trade chocolate maker, wanted to help build 200 bags oh for Peyton's God. purpose. Oh, my God. Now you have enough for 200 new Peyton's Purpose Care packages. Yes. Awesome. This is so overwhelming. I, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It started off with a small vision. I just wanted to do something for somebody else because, I, like I said, I felt abandoned. So I didn't want no one else to feel that way, especially because it's, so, it's such a taboo subject. They don't, they don't talk about pregnancy loss. They don't talk about miscarriages. They, they just want you to move on from it. Yep. So I just wanted to make sure that these women know, women know that they're not alone. They're not alone. And it's one in four pregnancies. 
end in miscarriage or stillbirth or early infant death, one in four people. So I was like, I never knew how much it happened until it happened to me. And so I was that one in four, mm. you know. Aww. So it's, even though my mom had a miscarriage and I, I, I knew every April she, it, it affected her. And it's been 35 years from my mother. So when I went through it, she said, I wish I could take that pain from you. Like it just hurts so bad, but I just, Doing this with Peyton's purpose has brought so much comfort, so much healing for me in my own process. So I'm thankful. So You're absolutely amazing, Artisa. Thank you so much for doing what you do, and thank you so much, Seven, for bringing us this story and thank sharing so it with much. us, shedding light on Peyton's purpose.